this young man, what's his name? What's his, what's his name? Samuel. The brother got a righteous name. His name is Samuel. His name is Samuel. He need to learn. He need to grow up learning who Samuel is in the Bible. Right. That that's his forefather. Right. That that man that walked the earth, our forefather that walked the earth, was a mighty man that's of right. the Lord. That's who Samuel is. Right. Samuel is a mighty man of the Lord. That's right. But who's going to teach him that? You think school is going to teach Samuel that he's a mighty man? Do you think that school is going to teach Samuel that he is the son of God? No. Samuel is the son of God. How you doing? You all right? Say, so you don't know who that is in that car, man. You hot, ain't I know you hot. Look at this right here. I want to show you something, man. Who is this? Who is this right here? You know? Who you say that is? God? You right there. You know who God is? What about you, mama? Who is this? Who is this right here? Oh, yeah. Right here? This man? Who is that? <laughs> oh, come on now. Talk to me now. Talk to me. Bring it out. Jesus. Baby girl in the back. Who is that? Who said what mama said, Jesus? So what the brother is showing you is, you ain't, you, when you do things, there's, there's a, this thing, this whole thing is spiritual. You may be doing things trying to hide it from them or not in their presence but spiritually they're picking up on these things because as these kids get older you're not going to tell them that are you going to tell them that this is jesus are you going to tell them that this is jesus will you, or will you teach them that that's jesus yeah right you will tell them that that's jesus oh you got him all over your house but now I want to show you why it's important for you to be sober-minded, like the brothers is bringing out. This is why it's so important for you to be sober-minded. Give me Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Listen real quick. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word in Revelation is to reveal. It's the revealing of Christ. Christ had to be revealed. Why? Because he knew over time his image would be changed. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Things which must shortly come to pass. Jump to verse 14. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. And bring me this back right here. You said you got him all over your house. You said you got him all over your house. Guess what these kids are going to grow up thinking? That Jesus Christ is the so-called white man. You know what that's going to do to them internally? It's going to destroy them mentally and spiritually. Because everything in this world that's supposed to be of good is right. The heroes in all the movies, what color are they? White. What color is Superman? White. What color? Give me some more heroes. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Batman. Captain America. All of the superheroes <laughs> that they push to the imagery of our children are white. Right. So they've given us this image to continue the destruction of our kids. You gotta take them white photos down. Right. And you gotta put up photos of a black Christ. Is that what right. that? That's right. Yeah. You gotta put up the photos of this because you can get a go to go to originalroyalty.com. Originalroyalty.com. We, we 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 I'm sure we got black Christ on there that you can buy. Because if you don't change the imagery in their mind, they're gonna grow up destroyed. They're gonna grow up with self hatred. You know why? Because the same person that put chains on them is the same person that's supposed to come and save them. Right. This is what this is how we think as a whole. You know why we can't change our condition as a people? Because they have trained us to train our children to think like they want them to think. Right. No. So we stay in a in a downtrodden condition. It says his head and his hair were white like wool. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Christ's eyes was like fire. Why? Because he drank wine in moderation. Read. And his feet. Now we're talking about his feet. We're talking about Jesus Christ's feet. His feet was what? 
like unto fine brass. What color is brass, mama? What color is brass? Like a penny. Right. So if this thing looks like a penny, what color is the penny? It's brown. Now, not only was the penny brown, watch this description in the Bible. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. The Bible says that Christ's feet was so dark from that bronze color, it looked like it was burned in a furnace. So if you burn that penny in the furnace, what color does it turn? What color does the penny turn if you burn it, mama? You're wrong. <laughs> Name it. What color, what, if you burn rice, what color it turn? Yeah, rice. It turned black. So if you burn a penny, what color will it turn? Black! So Jesus Christ was not this guy right here. Your Lord and Savior is a black man. Yeah, that's written right. in the Bible. And we gotta change that in the minds of our children. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the mouth of the 
of Esau. The Mount of Esau is the same people that put him in captivity. Right. The same people that put your ancestors in slavery. Samuel is supposed to grow up, become a man of the Lord, and judge the people that put us in this condition. Right. That's the importance of what we're teaching. Right. You're not only learning that you're an Israelite tonight, sis. You're learning that your son is supposed to grow up and be a great man right. of the Lord. He's supposed to become a prophet of the Most High God. Hey. Not a nigga in Colombia wow. shooting down his brother or a gangster in Colombia. That is no. not who this, who this child of God is supposed to become. Right. But it's up to you to make the decision if that young man becomes a gangster or whether he becomes God. That decision is yours, brother. And you got to make that. Do you understand that? All right. You should come and visit the school. That's right. You should come and visit our school so you can so that you can see how your sisters who was in the same condition that you were, that you're in right now, who had children in the same condition that Samuel and, and baby girl in the back is in, how they, they changed their lives. How they become repenting Israelites under the commandments of God. That's what you should do. Make a decision to change your life. Make a decision to change the lives of your children so that the people around you can see the light in you and be, and be inspired to change their lives. Right. That's what you got to do, sis. You understand? What's your name? Kiara? You need to get an officer's your phone number so they can lock you in. Call us. Number on the back right there, Kiara. The number on the back. Call us. Let us lock you in. Start repenting now because this place that you know as America today is coming to an end. Right. Right. The same thing that we're doing right now, our forefathers did in the past. Samuel talked in the past. Bring it out. That's right. The same thing that we're doing right now. It's time to repent, sis. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Is you. And finally, my brother, Mr.